My name is Riku Takahashi. I work at a digital instrument company. It's basically a BTOB company, and we sell completed products to clients and set up networking. I heard that this company will be opening a new department. This is a perfect chance for me to practice my sales technique. Huh? What is that? A beautiful bouquet of flowers at the lobby? I knew that it was an illusion immediately. It was a woman who was as beautiful as a bouquet of flowers at the desk. Welcome. How can I help you today? Oh, I'm coming from Oriko Digital Service and would like to make a sales pitch to you. I've heard that you're going to be starting a new department and was wondering if you would be interested in our products. Oh, here's my business card. Mr. Riku Takahashi. Wow, you're the project manager. Yes, ma'am. Pardon me. I was just surprised because you were so young. Thank you. Pleasure to meet you. I will go ahead and call the department real quick and get someone down here for you. Man, she's so beautiful. I, I haven't felt this way in a while. Oh, crap. I locked eyes with her. What a heavenly sight. Sorry to keep you waiting. Uh, you had something to offer me? Hmm? Are you okay? <clears throat> uh, nothing. Sorry about that. I heard that you were launching a new department and figured that my services were offered. I refocused on my sales. I was able to secure the deal and would have our devices and network used for the new department. Nice. Secured the deal. How did it go, Mr. Takahashi? Oh, uh, I was able to secure the deal. Uh, that's wonderful. I will be stopping by often to check up on everything. Yes, absolutely. Hey, Takahashi, you look happy. Something nice happened to you? Oh, I got a new deal, but the girl at the lobby is beautiful. I'm so excited to see her every time I go there. I see. I gotta go see what she looks like if she makes you that happy. If anything happens from now on, I might need your help from IT support, so I'll ask you for help, Mr. Sakota. <laughs> sure thing. I want to check on the system once every two weeks for security purposes. I'm in sales and not tech, but I can do basic maintenance and corrections. If something happens that's beyond my capabilities, I need to call tech support. But most little things are easier if I handle them. Every time I headed there, the girl at the lobby, Mika Ueki, would talk to me and we got to know each other. We didn't talk much, but I would be happier every time. I was just happy to see her again. However, when I was going home after work, as usual... Um, Mr. Takahashi, if you want... Yes? Would you like to, um, trade contact info? You know, for things besides work? She wants to trade contact info? To hang out outside of work? I would like to talk to you as a friend and not a customer, if that's okay. Y y y y y yes yes uh, absolutely uh, I would love to have more non-work related interactions from now on you can even call me Riku really I'm so happy Riku now that I started hanging out with her more often outside of work it wasn't too long before we started dating two years later how's work recently oh hey dad it's going well and private life both Oh, I'm actually dating someone now, and I'm interested in potentially marrying her. What? Really? <laughs> Too bad, huh? <laughs> so, I figured you could go and grab some food since we need to catch up. I guess I could ignore the matchmaking talk. How about we just grab some food? You can even bring your fiancé. Relax, she's not my fiancé yet. I'm just planning for the future. But yeah, I'd love to catch up. <laughs> okay, I'll let you know once I find out more. That's the kind of conversation I was having, but... Huh. Should she be here already? Oh, Mika, what's going on? It's time for our date. Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't been able to move because I've been feeling sick from the morning. <laughs> I think I've caught something. What? I'll go by and make sure you're okay. Oh, no, you don't need to. I don't want to give you the cold. 
I don't care if I catch a cold. No, 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 no! I'm going to be upset. I'll be okay if I just go to sleep. Uh, really? And so we didn't go on our date. Mika hasn't been replying recently, or she'll reply the next day. She isn't answering. I feel like we're not really getting along like we used to. Hmm. This is kind of sad. Hey, Dad! Long time no see! Yo, Riku! It's been a while since we've hung out. You need to come home more often. <laughs> hmm? What's wrong? What is it showing? Uh, yeah, I'm just having some problems with my relationship. Oh, that girl you were thinking about marrying? She busy? Mm, I don't think she's that busy. Oh, well. Let's talk while we eat. I'm gonna go to the bathroom so you go ahead and take a seat first. I'll show you to your seat. I'll order as soon as my father comes back. Hmm? Yes, sir. Uh, is that Mika? And Section Chief Sakota? What the hell is going on? Why are they together? Mika, what the hell? What are you doing with our Section Chief? Huh? Riku? Why are you here? That's my question, and why are you here? It's like a date or something. Oh, he found us. <laughs> I went to say hello at her work, and I got to know her. I told her I'd handle anything she needed. That was just in case. I should handle most of the issues if there were any that copped up. Oh my god, shut up. What? Mika? Riku, you're nothing compared to the Section Chief Sakota. It's fairly simple who I'd choose. If you understand, can you leave? I'm trying to have fun here. <gasps> Mika, she was doing it for the fame? <laughs> yeah, there's just a massive difference in rank. <laughs> Get real. Mika. Hmm? Riku? Oh, hey, Sakota. I remember our section manager showing us a picture of you and your team. L what? Mr. Takahashi, C C CEO, why are you here? Ah, I'm just having a nice dinner with my only son. S -s -s son? Uh, Riku is your son? You 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 do have the last same name, huh? <laughs> I mean, it is a fairly common last name, so I understand why you wouldn't notice. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt your date. That was the girl. Hmm. My girlfriend. Ah. Hmm. I see. I think I understand. Just eat. The best thing to do is just distract yourself with nice things. Too much eating isn't good, though. <laughs> You're right. Thanks. <gasps> hey! Mika! Hello, Dad. It's nice to meet you. I'm Mika Ueki. I'm dating your son. Ah, uh, hey. You want to do the matchmaking thing, then? I already told you the person you couldn't, but hey, why not? Yeah, you're right. I'm actually looking for someone now. Uh, um... I felt bad, because she seemed like someone you'd get along with. Really? Should I be excited? Hello? She's at the very least loyal. That's the best thing. <laughs> you need a sense of trust in a relationship. Afterward, I kept seeing Mika's text full of excuses and numerous phone calls. I just ignored them all. After a while, I had to visit her company for work when... Ah, two at the front desk now. I'm with Oriko Digital Services. I'm here for the sales reservation. Uh, uh, Riku, about last time... Miss Ueki, why are you being so rude to our customer? No, I mean, wait. Here's my business card. Sales Department or of Oreko as an Executive Director. Mr. Riku Takahashi, please hang on a moment. Uh, executive Director? Understood. You have a meeting with the CEO. Let me show you to the room. Uh, uh, CEO? Wait, Riku. Give me another chance, Riku. I apologize for my co-worker's manners. Do you know each other? We see each other at the front desk from time to time. Afterwards, I heard that she was fired because of her attitude at the front desk. 
By the way, I ended up getting along well with the matchmaking girl, and we got married after dating for two years. My life is fairly nice now. My name is Kaito Nishimura. I go to a bar every Friday, and I met a girl there about a month ago that I became friends with. Great job this week, too! You too! Her name was Lilika. You only come here on Fridays? I usually drink at home the other days. I work early, so Friday is the only day I can really drink without worrying about the time. I see. Aren't you a little lonely drinking alone? Do you live nearby? Yeah, I don't live too far away. I actually live close too. Where about do you live? You know Sekafushi Apartments? I do! That's a pretty nice apartment. You have a pretty good sense in apartments, huh? I want to see inside. Nah, it's pretty outside, but it's pretty small on the inside. We were just drinking buddies. She seemed like she wanted me to invite her to my house, but I didn't want to invite someone I met at a pub to my house. One day, Lilika brought a man to my house. Hey! You're the one that messed with my girl? What? No! You're gonna lie? After you tried to get me drunk and take me? What? I didn't do that! We drank at the pub, but that's all we did! You trying to make excuses now? Or are you saying my girl is lying? What? Is she some kind of honeypot? I told him I had a boyfriend, but he wouldn't let up. You made my girl cry! How are you gonna make up for it? You can cut your balls off or give me some money! You make the choice! I didn't do anything! If you want to argue about it, we can go to the store and call the police! What did you say? You think this is a game? Lilika wanted to get close to me to do this, huh? She probably just pulled this because I didn't let her into my home. What do I do? Um, sorry to interrupt you guys. Is this Kaito Nishimura's room? Yes? Who is that? I feel like I remember her. Uh, I miss you so much, Kaito! What? It's me! Miyu Matsushige! Mio? Seriously? Yeah, it's been so long. Yeah, I'm so surprised. You've become so beautiful. You came to visit me? Sorry I couldn't be in touch with you. She was a friend from kindergarten. She moved when she was in the sixth grade, and we had exchanged letters since then, but somewhere during middle school, I stopped getting replies. I thought I would never be able to talk to you again. So glad to see you again. Thank you. I'm glad I could see you, Kaito. Hey! You realize what kind of situation you're in right now, right? Oh, yeah. Sorry, Bio. I'm in the middle of something. What's going on? It looks like there's a dumb girl and a bad guy messing with you. Talk about being blunt. That guy messed with my girl! He forced it after making her drink more than she wanted! Lilika was so scared. Why would Kaito mess with a girl like that? You must be dumb making Kaito your mark. If you want to make some money off honey potting, you should try to find someone who's around your level. Kaito definitely would not have fell for your trap. You two are such morons. You just met up with him, right? How do you know anything about him? Shut the hell up! You realize you're talking to the daughter of a gang boss and best friend of Kaito, right? He's the only boy that played with me in kindergarten while everyone else avoided me. Kaito had always hung around me, even while knowing I was a daughter of a gang boss. If he didn't hang out with me, I would have been alone. But I could push forward because Kaito was there. Then, I had to move in sixth grade. Of course, it was because I was the daughter of the gang leader. Mio, you didn't write that in your letters. I wanted to talk about happy things with you. But, even at my new school, I was able to keep going because I had your encouragement. I see. But can I ask why you stopped returning my letters after you joined middle school? Because my mother passed, and I was depressed. I'm so sorry that I kept sending you letters in such a hard time! It's okay. That's why I didn't reply. I started returning letters, but by then, your address had changed. But I'm glad I could meet up with you again. It wasn't exactly as I hoped, though. Okay, we'll be leaving you two lovebirds now. Hang on! I was going to reunite with Kaito in a romantic way. 
And you had to ruin it with your stupid little honeypot scheme! You're totally right! I'm so sorry for interrupting such an important day! We'll be going now! You think that's enough? You better come correct! Uh, that man just told me to do this! Uh, who are they? You're kidding! You thought I came alone. My dad and his friends are here too. Huh? Your dad is here? Yeah, he wanted to say hello to you. He came with me. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm in regular clothes. You can just act normal. I didn't even let you know I was coming, so... What the hell is this? You shouldn't talk to the daughter of a Yakuza member. Of course people are avoiding her. You don't know shit. Mio is kind. When I was in elementary school and I kept forgetting things, she always lent me things without ever complaining. Mio said she wanted to start a small business and we went to stores together too. It doesn't matter what her father does. I like her. That's why I spent my time around her. You apologize to her now. Damn it! Everyone's crazy here! Whoa! I knew the boy Mio liked had it in him! You're gonna make me cry! But... I feel like if trash like you didn't interrupt the two reuniting, it would have been more romantic! What do you think? I'm sorry! The trash will go home to his trash can! Hey, you heard him. Help him out! Yes, boss! Uh, hello, sir! A pleasure to meet you. My name is K Kaito Nishimura. You don't have to be so nervous, but Sorry for showing you something you probably didn't want to see, but I came here as Mio's father. I heard that you treated her extremely well. Thank you for being so kind to her. Oh, uh, it's not a problem at all. It means a lot to us, though. I wouldn't have been here if it wasn't for your encouragement. I actually hated my home. I couldn't tell my dad, but I told him when my mother passed. I thought she was tough like me, so I kept pushing her, but she's just a regular girl. I felt terrible for not realizing sooner. So, Dad sent me off to a foster home away from all the Yakuza business. I grew up in a regular house and grew up to be a regular girl. And I opened my own store last week. I managed to accomplish my dream. Wow! Can I go by your store? Of course you can! Hey, Mio! Don't chicken out now! You came here for a reason, right? Dad, calm down! A reason? Uh, um, I actually came here to say thanks and something else. If you don't have anyone you're seeing right now, can we maybe go out? Of course! What? Really? Yeah! I felt a flood of my emotions after seeing you again. I always wanted to treat you right. And I've always liked you. I want to make up for all the lost time. Let's make new memories together. I didn't even have to come here. You two handled it all on your own. He's definitely got what it takes for you. Oh, come on, Dad. Afterwards, we started living together. On days off from work, I would help her out with her store and make up for all the lost time. Working at her cute store, it reminded me of all the old times. I was happy, and I wished for this time to never end. My name is Naoto Matsumoto. I'm 28 years old, and I work in sales at Sekifushi Real Estate. So, Mr. Ayashi, what did you think? Well, all of them were great. But if I had to pick one, it would be the last one we looked at. I like that one too. It's rare to find a nice place like that for such a reasonable price. It just came out at the end of last month. One last thing. I'm allowed to use it as an office, right? Yes. The place used to be an office slash storage room for an internet shop, so I don't think there'll be any problems. Great! I'm about to start an insect food product business next month. I'm in desperate need of an office. Insect food product? Yup, the boss is into it. There are all kinds, but I would start with rice crackers. Oh, can you not eat insects? I've never eaten insects before. I'll send you some soon. You should try them. 
No, that's really okay. Oh, come on. They're delicious. I wanted to thank you for finding me such a nice place. It'll be on me. We can start the contract once we get back to your office. Thank you, sir. You won't reject us later on in the process, right? I'm a little shaken thinking about how many insects will be stored in that room, but that won't be enough to reject your application. Really? Great! I hope to use that office for a long time. I hope we get along. Yes, I'm looking forward to- Just then, the car behind rear-ended us. Oh! Mr. Hayashi, are you okay? Oh, yeah. I'm fine. Gosh, this is bad. I need to call the office and tell them. Wait, Mr. Hayashi? The hell do you think you're doing, you idiot? Get out of the car right now! What? But Mr. Hayashi, please, calm down. What the heck? Look what you did to my car! You're the one who rammed into our car! You owe us a lot of money for ruining the car! Oh my gosh, Naoto? What? Rico? Rico is my ex-girlfriend. She was one of my customers about a year ago. She asked me out and we dated for three months until she found another guy and dumped me. You look so different now. Oh, I only wore those awful clothes because you were my boyfriend. I'm aiming for sexy now. How do I look? You don't have enough cloth on your body to call it clothes. Uh, seriously? You're scolding me? I'm so glad I dumped you. Hey, what the heck? Do you know this guy? He's my ex. He's square-headed and boring, has no money, and was a complete waste of my time. He looks like such a loser! Uh, anyways, we had an accident. Let's call the police. It's just a little dent. Don't be so overdramatic. I agree. It's not a big deal. You rammed into us. You owe us an apology, you moron. That isn't even your car. We should call the police anyways. Let's park our cars over there. Hey, why are you making such a big deal over nothing? Anytime there's an accident, we call the police. Those are the rules. This is why I broke up with you. You're so hard-headed. You never listen to what people say. His brain is probably the size of a rabbit pellet, seeing how he's calling the police to fix his mess. You were right to break up with him. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Yoshi, you're the only one for me. You are so cool and handsome. Hello? This is Nato. Hi, Naoto. Just checking in since you haven't returned yet. Actually, we got rear-ended while stopping at a red light. What? Are you okay? I'll be right there. Thank you. We're both fine. We're by the convenience store near... What am I supposed to do? Hey, Naoto. So you know this wench? She... used to be my girlfriend. What? You need to choose your women properly. She's... Awful! <laughs> How dare you call my girlfriend awful! She's hot! She's still 22, you know! Exactly! Do you have any idea how many men are into me? So then, why are you dating such a pathetic loser, huh? Oh, come on! I told you! Calling the police! Let's ask them to take care of everything! We're in a very public place! They're insulting you, though! Why won't you say anything? You whip! Worthless! Cut it out already! Why are you all ganging up on me? Naoto, are you okay? Ayaka, I'm sorry for making you come all the way down here. Oh, it's alright. I'm just glad you're not hurt. Naoto, if anything were ever to happen to you, I... I'm okay, really. Don't worry about me. Ew. Don't tell me you're dating this ugly chick. Oh, talk about bad taste. Oh, 
This is hilarious. Oh my gosh. Well, you look good together. I'm sure you'll have a bland, poor life together. Wow. You should look in the mirror, you cow. Do you not realize how hideous you are? Uh, what? You're so rude. You, you'll regret what you just said to me. Yoshi, my boyfriend, is a Yakuza. That's right. How do you feel now that you know you're picking a fight with a Yakuza? Yakuza? We should call the police. Yeah. Oh? Which family group are you from? Family? I'm from Yoshitagumi. Yoshi is the boss. <laughs> How cool. I'm not the type of guy to follow orders. I'm the boss of all bosses! I don't recall about a Yoshitagumi around here. Did you just arrive in this area? Huh? Did you kill somebody to get their territory? Kill? Oh, whatever. I'll just check with my boys. Mr. Ayashi, what can we do for you? Hey, man. Have you ever heard of a Yoshitagumi? This guy over here, he says he's the Oyabun. No, I've never heard of him. Really? I guess we should get to know him then. Uh, no. It's okay. I'll be off now. Oh, no. I think we can be great friends. <laughs> Please, forgive me! I lied to you! I'm not a Yakuza! What? You lied to me?! Yoshida tried to fight back, but they were both taken away in black cars. Police arrived soon and took care of the accident, but... So where is the driver who rammed into you? I'm sure he'll be back soon. He... he's lying. Um, Mr. Hayashi? I feel awful for saying this when you're saving my ass, but... We can't lend you the apartment, since... You're a Yakuza member. Damn it. I knew this would happen. That's too bad. I can see how serious you are about your job. I respect that. No hard feelings, man. After that, the black cars brought Yoshida and Riku back. Yoshida turned out to be a hoodlum who loves gambling, and Riku was furious for being lied to. I can't believe you would lie to me about being a Yakuza! I don't have any money! Can you help me pay the fine? No way! I'm breaking up with you! Please, don't leave me! Yo, you too. Don't you have anything to say? We're, We're so, so sorry. sorry! Please forgive us, we'll never do it again! <laughs> it's great to see you've had a change of heart! That was a lot to go through in one day. I hope this is the end of all of this. A few days later, we received a package from Mr. Hayashi. Turned out to be a real Yakuza. Gosh, what did he send us? It's so big! Duh! <laughs> Told him I don't need any! The things the Yakuza sends me? I don't know what to do with them! I'm Naoki Yasoka. I work at a pretty big tech firm. Hmm... Mr. Yasuoka, here are the documents you asked for. Ah, Nakano! Thank you! Her name was Bako Nakano. She was two years younger than me. She was my assistant. She was brilliant. Oh, and here. Huh? Cough drops? Yeah, you've been coughing a lot, so thought this might help. Oh, uh, thanks. <laughs> sure thing. She wore a hearing aid on her right ear, but her left ear worked just fine. Lunch. Oh, she's eating by herself again. Not sure why, but she was always eating by herself. She was the quiet type who usually kept to herself. She barely talked during work, but I mean that in a good way. She was always really focused. I respected her, and in a way, I kind of liked her. Man, I still can't believe she gave me those cough drops. She's so considerate. Naoki, what are you smiling about? You were staring at Nakano again, weren't you? What? No! 
Hey, look what she gave me today. What the? Why do you sound so surprised? You're just cough drops. Why cough drops though? Huh? I don't know. Probably because I was coughing a lot? I thought it was just me. Damn it. A few days later. So sleepy. What the? What's all the commotion? I turned around. This blonde one was talking to Nakano. I couldn't really hear them, so I walked over to them. I said turn down your music. Give me those earphones. What? I'm not listening to music. This is my hearing aid. What? Hearing aid? That's for old people. Stop lying. You think I'm stupid? I'm serious. I... Ah! Give it back! Shut up! This is mine now. Stop it! She's not lying! She can't hear from her right ear! That's her hearing aid! Give it back to her right now! What? She can't hear? So she's disabled? What? Wow, so you're being serious. <laughs> Sucks to be you. But hey, at least you got a job out of it. Companies have to hire a certain amount of disabled people, right? Lucky you. You should be grateful for that, you know? Sorry, everyone. Nothing to see here. Here's your hearing aid back. Don't lose it now. Jerk! She kept insulting her in front of everyone. I wanted to get off, but the train wasn't going to stop for another 20 minutes. Nakano just stood there in silence. I just wanted to scream at her, but I didn't want to make a scene, so... You okay? She nodded in silence, but it looked like she was about to cry. And the blonde kept talking. I tried ignoring her, but she was pushing it. Then as I looked up at her, wait, I recognize her from somewhere. Wait, I know. What are you staring at, huh? Shouldn't you be taking care of your disabled friend? That's enough! She's an essential part of our team. Stop talking about her like that. I yelled out loud. The woman flinched for a second, but then she said, Why are you yelling? Why are you defending her? Give it a rest. <sighs> there was just no talking to her. I decided to ignore her after that. Then the train finally came to a stop. Hey, you. You're going to regret this. I'm so scared. Get out of here, losers. I tried saying something back, but Nakano just grabbed my hand and pulled me away from her. We started walking towards the office together. That woman was such a jerk. Listen. Don't listen to her, okay? You're an essential part of the company. And you're cute. Huh? Nothing, nothing. Just remember, you're an important part of the company. <laughs> thanks. Hey, um, thanks for helping me out back there. I'm fine now, though. Mr. Yasuoka? Where are you going? Oh, uh, I need to make a quick stop. Can you come with me? When I got to the office, I headed to the General Affairs Department. Mr. Tanaka, good morning. There's something I need to show you. Please take a look here. This woman. She's a receptionist, right? This morning, she was harassing one of my subordinates on the train. I got it all on tape. That blonde woman. She was the receptionist at our company. I didn't recognize her at first, but as soon as I recognized her, I started recording. After seeing the video footage, the company act quickly. She got transferred to some dead-end position down in the basement. She was devastated, but there was nothing she could do. Mr. Yasuoka, thank you. I really appreciate this. Don't mention it. I'm not going to let anyone hurt you. I... I love you. Wait. What did I just say? Crap! Wait. He likes me too? Yay! My name is Ryu Ichiba. I'm a group manager at a large consulting firm. Hey, boss. We're getting a new guy in our department today, right? Yeah. He's apparently gone to a really famous university. I didn't see his resume, but the chief said so. How exciting! However, the new guy was someone I was very familiar with. My name is Takashi Hanataka. I'm from a very famous university, so I'll be able to jump right in! You're kidding me! When I was in high school, I always got top of the class grades. It's not like I was trying to beat anyone or be number one. I was just good at studying. 
You haven't gone to any cram schools, and you're still top of the class. Huh. I'm sure he goes to cram school or has a private tutor. No, I haven't gone to cram school, and I don't have a tutor either. You're probably just made different. Teach me sometime. You're so annoying. You're just a nerd. Why was Hanataka so interested in me? Because the girl that he liked had liked me at the time. However, when I was a junior in high school, the car factory that my father was running had gone under. There was just no demand for a factory that couldn't repair cars that were only repairable at the dealership. You're not going to college? Yeah, there's something I'm interested in and I don't need to go to college, so I figured I would take my shot at gaining experience now. You're saying that, but let's be real. You don't have the money for college. Leave him alone. I'm sure he's got it figured out. He wasn't wrong. I didn't have much money, but my parents were insisting that I go to college. But I was interested in working for a company that would help out companies that were going under like my father's factory. I'm going to a national university. Your high school grades will mean nothing. Oh well, loser. <laughs> so I was a little worried about him coming into our company. I'm sure he's not the same way he was before. He must have grown up. It's been a while. Hey, Ichiba. It's been a while. <laughs> Although it's just titles, I never expected to be working under you. You better watch your back or I'll be your boss tomorrow. <laughs> you know him? We went to the same high school, but he was poor, so he had to work out of high school. I haven't met him once since we graduated. <laughs> you probably don't even have a girlfriend, right? You probably have poor pickings considering your education. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't gotten with anyone after I broke up with my girlfriend two years ago. My predictions were off. He hadn't changed one bit. I'm actually gonna marry a beautiful girl who went to the same college as me. <laughs> he was rubbing everyone the wrong way. Ichiba, how is Hanataka working? He doesn't seem to have a good reputation in the department. I see. I'll make sure he comes with me to the clients and teach him how he should do his work. Counting on you. We're at a personnel shortage, so we need him to be able to work on his own within three months. We're going to go to our meeting with Sakai Dining now. Sakai Dining has opened over 490 stores nationwide. I know. You don't have to tell me. I work with Riki Ishimaru in college. We're close. Really? Miss Ishimaru from planning and marketing? Yeah, we like each other. We're about one step away from going out. Let's see. I always thought she was someone pretty, but she was his girlfriend, huh? Weird coincidence. This is our new employee, Hanataka. We'll be handling your case with Sakai Dining. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Takashi Hanataka. I'm confident I'll be able to provide your company with solutions that will satisfy your needs. I'm Katahoka from Planning. I'm Rika Ishimaru. Pleasure. We started our meeting as usual with Miss Ishimaru and her boss, Kataoka. Then, Hanataka had to drop this bomb. Would you like to change who handles your case? Honestly, I feel like if it's not Ichiba, we can make sales skyrocket. What? Ichiba is a high school graduate and is the worst worker in our office. I think you should leave your world-class dining company to someone with a higher education. What? What are you talking about? Our company has been improving and breaking sales records for the past year and a half because of Mr. Ichiba's advice. Indeed. And who are you? You must be the new gentleman. What was it? Hanataka? What position are you in? Um, I... I just... If you wanted to... We plan on working with Mr. Ichiba from here on out. So please stop wasting our time with useless suggestions. Okay, so let's continue our talk. Please do not talk with our clients about things that are not work-related. They will trust us less. <laughs> hey, Ichiba! We just got a complaint from Sakai Dining. He said that Hanataka said some terrible things. I'm sorry, sir. I'll handle it. I said what I said because Ichiba was not handling the case very efficiently. Next time, I'm going to ask for more details to be shared with me ahead of time. I saw that Ichiba was explaining very clearly what to do when Hanataka decided to jump in and interrupt him. Hanataka! Hanataka showed no remorse and the chief was also tired of him. He didn't notice that his co-workers didn't like him and the office had a heavy air about it. 
Don't you think that Hanataka is a little rude? He's pinning everything on you. I'm gonna help as much as possible, but he's not even a good worker. He regularly makes mistakes and doesn't research anything at all. It pisses me off how he disrespects you too. He's still new. Give him a little time, guys. I don't know how to explain it to him and make him understand. My head was hurting. One day, Hanataka made a terrible mistake. The mail address you sent had another company's address in it. It had important documents about our marketing strategy and sales records. After checking, he had added two additional large corporations in addition to Sakai Dining and sent them in the email. That was because Ichiba told me. I'm sure you just used the default mail selection. You didn't even double check, did you? You really made too many mistakes. I worked this case, so I'll go apologize. I'm going with him. Anataka, you come now. I'm so terribly sorry for this mistake. It's not just this time. You guys have been sending mislabeled invoices and wrong suggestions to our departments. I knew you'd make a big mistake soon enough. Why are you just standing there? You're the one that caused the problems. Sorry. Afterwards, the chief and their boss went into a conference room to talk about what would happen from now on, but... Rika, what was that about? We're close, right? What do you mean? We had the same college and we went to the same club. That's it. We've talked a few times at some parties. You need to stop calling and texting me. It's aggravating. What? But you were happy. No, I wasn't. Please stop saying things that might give Mr. Ichida the wrong idea. I've always had a thing for him, and I don't want you to make him think I'm interested in someone else. You like this low-educated trash? You keep making fun of him for being a high school graduate. I know education is important too. That's why I went to the university that I did. But after you go out into the world, real life experience is just as important. Do you realize how much experience Ichida has under his belt in this company? Ishimaru told him off, and he started calming down in the office after that. However... Anataka, you need to go to HR. They won't have a war with you. It's about the money, and what we're gonna do with you going forward. Apparently, they were tired of his actions, but even more so, his behavior after he had made the mistake themselves. Bosses decided they would be able to continue the business, and I was invited out for dinner by Miss Ishimaru. Hanataka could never understand why people didn't like him in college. We traded contact info because we went to the same club, but he always contacted me for no reason. I see. I heard that he joined this company midway through the season because he was fired from his old job when he pissed off one of the regular clients. <laughs> I can imagine. Um, so, I invited you today because I didn't expect to confess my feelings for you yesterday. So, I figured I'd do it properly today. I, I actually had some feelings for you, too. Really? Education is important, but continuing education and working hard along with experience is also important. Yes, ma'am. Would you like to go out with me? It's important to look around you. Hello, everyone. I'm about to bust the big question of my girlfriend of three years. This is when I show her the man I am. Ari's a little late. Is she okay? Sir, shall I bring you drinks? I'll wait a little bit more. I'm sorry. No problem. Mari works in an apparel store for high-class brands in a department store. This bag is recommended for customers who may be traveling a lot. It is made from genuine leather and has a solid design. It's elegant and casual. Perfect for trips. Really? I think if you use your scarf that you previously purchased with this purse, it would be perfect and fashionable. Oh, you remembered? Okay, I'll take it. Can you show me how to wrap the scarf? Yes, ma'am. Mari was hardworking and I loved that about her. I was going to give her the ring and start planning for our future together. I wonder if Mari's going to come soon. Mari! Sorry, we had a regular client show up, and it took me a little extra time. It's all right. You must be tired. Let's open a bottle of wine. Kenta, I have something to talk to you about. I have something to talk about, too. This wasn't what I was hoping for, but I have to go now! I like someone else. 
So, I want you to break up with me. Uh, hold on! I don't understand! I'm sorry. I met someone during work. It was Destiny. Destiny? We met through a mutual friend, right? Yesterday, he just suddenly showed up at my boutique. So, a customer? Yes. He's a gentleman, and he's apparently the heir to some corporate elite. An heir? He took me to dinner, and we went to an expensive diner at a hotel. And the hotel manager himself showed up to say hello. He was so used to handling these situations. And he wanted me to go out with him, so I said yes. So I want you to break up with me. But... You just met him! You don't even know if he really loves you! The way he behaves, the way he talks, the things he owns, his resume... It's all perfect! I want high class. You work at a supermarket. At first, I thought it was good because we're both store employees. But I don't think it's working. We're on different levels. I mean, yeah, it's a supermarket, but... Okay, fine. Let's break up. Thank you. It was a great three years. I hope you find someone who fits you. I don't remember how I went home that day. I was planning on proposing and she left me with a broken heart. After I broke up with Mari, I didn't want to go out with anyone, so I just went to work and came home. Then one day... Kenta Takashi is having a wedding sometime soon. Grandpa is going, so you need to go. Takashi is finally getting married, huh? That trash of a man. I wouldn't want to see him if he wasn't Sis's son, but we have to do this because of obligations. You will go, understand? I got it. But Takashi should really try to find a job. How did he manage to get married? I don't know how he's made it this far, to be honest. I'm sure everyone around him helped him out every step of the way. Auntie can be so easy on him. That's what happens when you spoil him. You gotta be tough. You are exactly right. I hope he cleans up his act once he gets married. I think his wife will have to work extra hard. Maybe love will help him overcome it? Considering she's marrying him, of all people. Love isn't the cure-all, though. You need to hurry up and find someone else, too. Stop dwelling. I know. I'll go to the wedding, but you take care of the paperwork. I don't want to see the invitation. There's, like, no one on the groom's side. Hey, easy. But there really are no people. Huh? That girl. I'm gonna go over there. Flirting? Good luck. That's not it! Aya! Aya Shirai. She was the girl who introduced me to Mari. Kenta? Why are you here? What are you doing here? I'm on the groom's side as a relative. But you don't have the same last name. It's my mom's side. I see. I'm shocked you actually came. What do you mean? You saw the invitation, right? Nope. I let my mom take care of it all. You didn't even look at the welcome board? Yeah, it was crowded, but I didn't really have any interest, so... Calm down and listen to me. Today's bride is... Huh? Kenta! You came! I figured you wouldn't come! I had to. We're related. You can't be like that towards the groom! It's been so long, you have to celebrate! Wait, are you still single? Sorry I managed to get married before you! Shut up. Kenta, you were smarter and more athletic than me, but you failed to get married a year ago, right? What a surprise, falling behind me. Mari. You're Takashi's relative. He's my cousin. I don't want to see my scary auntie. Mari, the guy who flirted with you? Don't talk to my wife like that! You're probably upset because she dumped you, right? Makes sense you can't get over her considering how beautiful she is. I'm not sorry for what I've done. I don't think I made the wrong choice. I am going to get rich with my rich husband. Mari, stop! I'm sorry for introducing you to her, Kenta. I'm sorry. It's okay. Everything is over now. You two. The ceremony is getting started. Takashi, stop goofing around. Okay, okay, whatever. Hey, Grandpa. Kenta! You just focus on getting married. I'm gonna make you take over the family! What do you mean Kenta is going to take over? I thought Takashi was going to receive the inheritance! Oh, Mari, let's talk about that later. 
Takashi, you lied to her, didn't you? I don't know what you heard from Takashi, but Kenta is my eldest daughter's son. He will be taking over the business. But Kenta is a store employee and Takashi is a corporate elite. Kenta works at my supermarket. We're looking to expand our business overseas, so he's still studying. He's in charge of strategic expansion. He must be his ex. Kenta, you didn't explain our situation to her? Takashi showed up before I could explain everything. Oh, this sucks. House, hold. My mother's bloodline, there's descendants from an incredibly rich financial group. My mom started a supermarket on her own, but maybe we're just good at starting our own businesses. Takashi ran his business into the ground. I would never let him take over everything. You must not be that bright if he's able to trick you like that. Wait, hang on. Takashi, what's going on? It's Kenta's fault! Because you always bragged about being the heir! You were always too rowdy and couldn't behave, so they left it to me. It's not my fault, it's your problem. I hated your attitude since we were kids. You're younger than me and act so tough. That's why I stole your girlfriend. I knew it was on purpose. You're such a child. I was tricked? Takashi is incorporate and he's technically an heir, but you chose the wrong one. I'm sorry for showing you such a bad scene. I was surprised. What happened afterwards? Takashi and Mari got married. Mari couldn't back out at that point. I see. I mean, he wasn't the heir, but he was technically elite. Maybe she's happy. Um, Takashi was fired. What? I mean, he was a troublemaker anyway. Oh well. Takashi was always good with his words and always caused problems. Our family always took care of him, but I think this was the last straw for my grandpa. Mari is going to have a hard time. Takashi is used to living a lavish lifestyle. I'm sure he'll spend all his money even though he has no job. The rest is up to Mari, though. Aya, uh, I'm sorry for the trouble I put you through. Let me make it up to you. Don't worry. I'm the one that introduced her. If I hadn't introduced her, this wouldn't have happened. After Mari left me, I couldn't even go outside to eat. I think it'd be nice for you to join me in rehab. What do you think? Sure. Let's go out then. Thank you. My name is Kaido Wadia. I'm kind of an introvert, but after I became a college student, I was able to make some friends. Hey, Sunji, Kaito, what are you two gonna do for lunch? Wanna go to the nearby Gyodon store? Hmm, I don't know about that. What's up, Sunji? I don't have a lot of money right now. Uh, me too. Uh, maybe we should go somewhere else. Uh, I wanted fish gyudon. Me too. I wanted kimchi gyudon, but I don't have a lot of money. Great job, Kaido. Oh, sorry. Uh, I can buy. What? Are you sure? Then it's all right. You two are my friends, and we should help each other out when we need it. Man, you're so nice. We're lucky to have you! What is this like, the 20th time I've bought food for them this month? I lost count past 10. Takaru and Sunji know that I come from a rich family. They started asking me for money when they got the chance. These two weren't the kind of friends I had hoped for, but... Oh! We're gonna have a drinking party later! You should come! I'm just glad they get along with me. I don't want to be a loner. You want a girlfriend soon, right? Let's all have some fun! You should bring extra money, because we can't let the girls buy their own drinks. Oh, uh, sure. Are these two expecting me to spend all the money for the party? Man, with these two, it's costing me a lot of money for leisure. I was receiving money from my parents, but I was trying to save that money and spend my own money by working a part-time job. But I don't want to go to a drinking party all alone. I won't get a chance like this again. I only get these chances because I have some friends. Pay for yourself! Yeah, there's zero chance I can say that. I wish I could be stronger. I just showed up to the drinking party without complaining. Oh my gosh, stop it! <laughs> of course, this is what happens. I'm just the guy that pays for everyone. 
They're just gonna laugh at me anyway. This is what normally happens, but I just keep coming back for some reason. I was hoping someone would fall for me on accident, but... All right, we're going to the party. You two enjoy being boring. <laughs> pay the bill! Huh? We don't have to pay? It's fine, he's rich! <laughs> huh? Ah, oh, I see. Too bad he's not my type. <laughs> uh, what about... Were you not listening to us? Go on a date with that loner. <laughs> you two look good with each other. Huh? Don't even talk about coming with us to the after party. You're too boring. We start losing rating because of you. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were my friends. I feel so bad for her. All right, let's head out. I'll pick up the bill. Oh, uh, I'll pay too. Oh, it's all right. I got it. All right. At least let me pay for my own bill. Also, um, w w would you like to go somewhere after this? Oh, with me? Are you sure? Yeah, it's a Friday night. I don't want to leave after getting belittled like that. Do you? Huh? This person must be nice inviting someone like me out. Then, I ended up going to karaoke with the bland girl named Akina. Hey, you paid for all of them for that party? I know it was pretty expensive. You should tell them off. Why are you paying for them anyway? I'm kind of a pushover. I can't say no. Besides, it's not like I have somewhere else to spend my money. I'm glad that they're inviting me out at all. Uh, just because your parents are rich, you think it's okay to just spend the money away? What do you think your parents are? I know. I'm working part-time and using that money, so I don't spend their money. Oh, you're not playing with your parents' money? I can't use their money for fun. Uh, that, 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 that's even dumber, then! You shouldn't use your own money on others like that! You worked hard for that money! But if I don't, I won't be able to find a social group. I don't want to be a loner. Ah, uh, you're so bad! Uh, I'm going to fix this! I'm sorry for upsetting you. Your hair. Ah, you care too much. I can fix my hair. Oh my god! Hmm? Uh, uh is, is something on my face? You're really pretty. Uh, well, thanks, but don't talk about it like that. Oh, I'm sorry. Should I have not said that? Oh, it's not that. I just don't know how to react. I say thank you, then the other person freezes up. If I smile, they act like I'm confident, and there's just no winning. Is that why you're pretending to look different? No matter how I react, girls don't like me, so I'd rather just be boring to be liked. If I'm boring, then at least I'll make friends, but either way, apparently I'm not good enough. I'm not going to stay friends with them. Now that I know how they feel about me, I'm not able to just ignore it. If I leave it alone here, they're just going to keep messing with us. I want friends too, so I understand your struggle, but real friends don't do that to their friends. I think you're right, but I don't want to be a loner. You're okay with filling that void with those guys? I'm not okay with it. Exactly! Then I have a plan. I'll be your girl. Then you don't have to deal with them at all. Are you sure? I'm just an introvert. Uh, I don't mind you, actually, and you didn't look down on me at all. You were even happy when I invited you to hang out. I can tell that you're a pushover, but I'll fix you right up. And that's how we started dating. Man, Kaito's kind of a dick recently. I know. He won't show up at all, even when we invite him out for drinks. Wait! Why is Kaido dating that beautiful woman? Oh, hey, Takadu. Sunji? Who is that lady? Your sister? Huh? You know her. She's Akina. You two invited her to the party a while back and pushed us together. Remember? What? You must be joking. That boring girl is this beautiful woman? The other women were dating around and kind of bitches, but... Come on. We're your friends! We got you two together! That's not fair! Maybe if you pay for all the bills you made me pay, I'll call you my friends again. Uh, uh. 
Every day was fun after dating Akina. I never felt alone, and apparently, Akina felt the same way. I don't like being alone, but apparently, loners attract each other. If there are two people who are alone, then you're no longer- Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.